Hello everyone, now I will demonstrate how to operate this portable cycle test system developed by Nebula. After setting up the testing environment and starting the device, you're gonna see the main interface of our equipment, which is roughly divided into six parts, monitoring, step editing, battery information, log management, data viewing, and system settings. First, let's get into the monitoring interface. This interface primarily displays the running information related to the steps and provides various operational options specific to step execution. Next, let's proceed to the step editing interface. Now, let's add a step for conducting a step test. Enter a custom step name. Select the battery model. Click on Details, input the corresponding step parameters, click Save, and then click Submit to execute the step. Now, let's go back to the monitoring interface and select the step to begin the test. The step will now start running. Meanwhile, you can view the corresponding curve information such as voltage, temperature, and current during the ongoing testing process. The section displaying the cell voltage and temperature is the battery cell and temperature information. The section above it is our BMS details. You can click on it to view the detailed information of the BMS. This part is our battery information, where you can add battery models based on user specifications. The screen you're currently viewing is the Add Battery Interface. This section is our log management, where you can view detailed records of the device operation process. It provides a log of the actions performed on the equipment. Next, let's take a look at our data viewing part. Here, it displays the storage of data from the steps we just ran. You can click on details to view specific operational data. This section is the system settings. It includes options such as system time settings, language switching, and unit settings. This is the configuration interface for the peripheral devices of this equipment. The Wi-Fi configuration allows you to connect via scanning a QR code with your mobile phone. You can manage the steps through the mobile app and synchronize the testing data. This is the system upgrade operation for the device. Following that, we have the idle time recording function of the device, which allows you to track the device's usage during idle periods. We also have the parameter display of the device, where you can view various parameters and settings. Lastly, we have the device information section, which provides details about the device itself. That's all for today's operation video. Thank you all.